Hi guys, today on Divas and Cook, we are making one of my favorite French onion dips ever. This dip is so good, you guys. It's creamy, it's tangy, it's full of flavor, and of course, it is so easy. Let's go. Okay, so first we're gonna add our butter into a skillet, followed by a little bit of oil, a little bit of olive oil there. I'm gonna let this butter get all nice and melty just like this, and then we're gonna add in our onions. Lots and lots of fresh onion. You can also throw in some garlic if you want to. I don't do that. And yes, I have my adult onesie. I love those things, oh my gosh. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna cook these onions up, and then when they become all translucent, it's time for some beef broth. Beef broth mmm so good and now we're gonna wait until our onions begin to smell nice and fragrant right now they kind of smell like you know somebody on the subway but once they get all golden like this mm-hmm that means they are done and ready to go perfect caramelized onions and don't forget y'all you can find this recipe on my blog at divasandcook.com go on over there and check that out okay onions are done go let them cool off for a little bit while I move on to my base Okay, so for the base, I like to use a little bit of sour cream, cream cheese, and mayonnaise. Now, I know a lot of people like to use just plain sour cream, but you guys, when you add that cream cheese, and then you add that mayonnaise, it's just like, mm, it just adds like a different layer to it. It's not as, I'll say layer. <laughs> I'm so country. It just adds a different layer to it, so it's not as, you know, flat. It's still nice and creamy and tangy and just has a little bit more personality, all right? So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna mix all that up until it is nice and creamy and whipped like this right here. Okay, then we're gonna add in our caramelized onions. Now you can um, puree that if you want to. Okay, go ahead and just mix that right into your little sour cream mixture here. Looks good, oh my God, those caramelized onions smell so good, oh my God. Now here is my favorite part, adding in all those seasonings. I'm using celery seed, I got some toasted onion, roasted garlic, and parsley, all right? Add that on in there. And now you just gotta just taste it and add what you like. Some people like it to be heavy on garlic, I don't. So I kinda add more of the um, toasted onion powder. I add a little bit of sugar, and then I add like a little bit of salt and pepper, and that is it. But trust your taste buds, you know what you like. Okay, I'm gonna place it into a bowl. Then we're gonna refrigerate it overnight. It has to be overnight, you guys, because the flavor gets so crazy the next day. It's like those onions get time to sit and it's just mm, the bomb. And then when you're done, give it a little stir, put some little chives on top, and then you are done. The best homemade French onion dip ever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to check out my other dip videos later.